27 FPS, 28 FPS, 29 FPS, 30 FPS. Oh. Look, the Steam Deck's been out for probably, what, three or four years at the time of recording this video, and it's very good with last-gen games and indie games, but with newer AAA games like Doom the Dark Ages and a variety of other new games, it's starting to show its age a little bit. Now, don't get me wrong, it's a very capable device, and the beauty of it being a PC handheld is that it's quite moddable, and the modding scene is incredible, specifically Decky. Decky is a Steam Deck plugin you can install that lets you add on a bunch of third-party tools and software that makes the experience so much better. And in this video, I wanted to highlight a very, very special plugin that a lot of people have been commenting about that I think deserves a full showcase. Stick around, because this plugin can double your Steam Deck performance for just $7. And I'm gonna walk you through how to set it up and everything. So stay tuned to find out how. Welcome back to the casting couch. <laughs> so yeah, as I mentioned earlier, Decky, it's a third party loader, lets you install a bunch of software on the Steam Deck, but there's one very specific piece of software that Decky has that just got added that doubles your performance in most games on the Steam Deck, and it's called lossless scaling. Now for some context to what lossless scaling is, it's been around for a while now, but it's a frame generation tool that you can apply to virtually almost any PC game that you're playing. It also has a bunch of other upscaling methods you can use on regular Windows PCs, but for the Steam Deck specifically, what we're looking at here from lossless scaling, as I mentioned, is frame generation. Now what this is, is it artificially generates new frames when you're playing games. So essentially gives you the option to double, triple, or quadruple your current frame rate using uh, some special AI trickery, where it basically predicts what the next frame will be and kind of smooths things out with the gameplay. If you have a newer TV and uh, you have like ProMotion or true motion on it, it's essentially the same thing where it makes movies look like they're running at 60 FPS, but in real time with video games. And this applies perfectly to the Steam Deck, and it's been a lifesaver for a lot of people because the Steam Deck sometimes just struggles to hit over 30 FPS in some games. Now enough yapping, let's get into how to install it. I'm gonna do a full install tutorial. It literally takes less than five minutes, so let's get right into it. And before we get started, make sure you buy Lossless Scaling on Steam and make sure you install it to your main Steam Deck drive. Okay, so now that we're in desktop mode, what you're gonna to wanna to do is open a web browser. I'm just gonna use Firefox. Okay, and once you're in Firefox, in the search bar, you're just gonna to wanna to type in Decky. Once you've done that, it's usually going to be the first result right here at the top, Decky Loader. And then just hit the download button at the top right. When it asks you where to download it to, I recommend saving it to your desktop. Then once it's completed, you can just open it on your desktop or open in Finder. And then right here, you're just going to double click the installer. It's going to say, this will start the program install Decky. If you don't trust it, click cancel. We're just going to want to hit continue. And then it might ask for your sudo admin password to set this in the settings here. Once you're in the Steam Deck settings menu, just scroll all the way down to where it says users. And then here it might say set password or change password. I've already set mine, but once you do that, you can make it a, like a few simple set of numbers. You can close that and you just enter that password here. And then once you've done that and hit enter, it's going to run a few commands in this command prompt. And then this little Decky installer window is going to pop up. Uh, I've already installed it, so I'm just going to skip this part, but all you got to do is hit install latest release and then hit OK. It's going to run through everything you need to do. And then once it's done, you just launch right back into SteamOS. OK, now that we're back in gaming mode, what we want to do is just hit the three dots here. You should see a little plug icon there. That is Decky. That means you installed it successfully. What you're going to want to do is go to the top right little shop icon here. Hit A on that. It's going to open the Decky Loader uh, kind of browser slash shop screen. What you're going to want to do is go to the search bar, type in you might only have to type in like loss lists. It'll kind of do the rest from there. And then once you search that up in the shop, I'll put the image of what the plugin looks like on screen. So what you're gonna wanna do next is go into the Decky Loader plugin here. And then it should say install LSFGVK. Make sure you have the game installed. It'll say it right there, loss of scaling installed. Hit install and then boom, installation complete. It's installed the frame generation. And now you'll have a few extra options over here. Now, before we worry about any of this, the first thing that we're gonna do 
is scroll all the way down and you'll see this command option here. What we're gonna wanna do is hit copy launch option. This little button up here, it's gonna copy it to your clipboard. Now find the first game you can think of that doesn't run that great that you'd like to use this with. So I'm gonna try Doom the Dark Ages because it runs 30 FPS locks pretty much and I'd like to double that frame rate. What we're gonna wanna do is hit A, go to the settings here, properties, and then scroll down in general to where it says launch options. Now, when it opens up your keyboard, just go down to the paste button here and it's gonna paste that command that we copied earlier from the clipboard into the launch options bar here. Once we're done, we can close the keyboard and that's all we have to do. So just close this properties menu and we're gonna hit play. Okay, now that we're in game, we can clearly see the FPS is hovering around 35, maybe 40 if we're lucky. So what we're gonna wanna do is open up the three button menu here, go down to lossless scaling into the Decky, the lossless scaling plugin here, and then it's gonna detect that we're running Doom the Dark Ages, and then here's where the action begins. The FPS multiplier here, it says off, hit the plus button. You're gonna see the game click for a minute. Uh, it's now at 2X, so if we exit out of that, now let's play. So you can clearly see the FPS has gone up from 35 to the 20 range and we're now getting up to 50. Now I will say that this will do a lot better with games that already perform at least 30 FPS on the deck. Now what we can do here, if we wanna crank it up even more and we wanna get closer to 90, we can go back into the decky plugin here and this is where things get a little uh, fishy. So uh, being realistic, you're gonna notice more artifacts but we're gonna crank this up to 3X. So now we should be getting somewhere closer to 90 FPS. So let's play. So you'll notice the game is starting to slow down, but smooth wise, it is up there. Uh, but this is kind of showing just the limits of like where, of how good you can get it with this plugin. I recommend keeping it within the 2X range for games that are around 30 FPS. There's also a setting within Decky, but you have to restart the game to do it. But it says base FPS cap. I recommend setting this to 30 or based on whatever game you're playing, the most smoothest cap you can give it and then restarting the game and you might get better results. So this is Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. It's been known to have a bit of issues when it comes to the optimization end. Uh, and on the deck, it's uh, it's a bit of a hard sell sometimes. Uh, we're getting we're gonna get around 30 FPS if not lower. But uh, watch what happens when we apply lossless scaling. Now look at the difference this makes. This is probably the best example. The, the game immediately spikes up. Now I can bump this up even higher if I wanted to, uh, but again, I actually haven't tested that too much, but let's just try it for science. Uh, so 3X here, now we're getting closer to 90. And if you have an OLED Steam Deck, uh, it's actually, you can actually notice it, it does take advantage of that extra, um, uh, of the extra Hertz here. It's actually pretty noticeable. All right, so for the next game here, I have Dead Space, the remake, and this game runs at a pretty fair 30 to 45 FPS on its own. So we're gonna put frame gen on here regardless. So let's open this menu here and put 2X. So immediately you're gonna notice the bump from 30 FPS we got to 70 now. Let's just bump it up even more, maybe 3X. Let's see how this game does at 3X. Maybe we wanna hit that 90 FPS target and wow, it's actually performing quite well. All right, now for the next game here, I have Ghosts of Tsushima, which you can tell actually runs natively pretty good. Natively pretty good. Close to 90 FPS. Just kidding, frame gen is on. And the reason I kind of did this little trick here is to show that it's actually really hard to notice unless you tell somebody that frame gen is on. Anyway, here's Judgment running without any frame gen on and like 60 FPS locked, I'm not surprised at all. I'm gonna jump this up to four times frame gen. Yeah, okay, so this is a extreme scenario of what not to do with this plugin. So keep it at 2X here and boom, game is now running close to 90 FPS compared to 60. 
Okay, so this segment, I wanted to touch on some issues. You'll notice that with frame gen on and lossless scaling running, uh, it doesn't, I can't get HDR to work for some reason. Maybe one of you have a fix in the comments to fix this, uh, but I can't seem to get HDR working at the same time as frame gen, but mileage may vary. If you know a fix to this, let me know. It'd really help, it'd help me out. I, I like HDR, so please help me. <laughs> Loss of scaling in itself is a fantastic plugin, and with most of the games I've tried with it and with other games people have tried on YouTube and stuff like that, it does a fantastic job at increasing performance and giving you a perceived increase in FPS. But I do want to be realistic. This isn't an actual performance enhancing feature. It gives you the impression of getting more in performance, but it's not actually going to increase the performance of the Steam Deck. This feature though in itself is a fantastic and really, really powerful tool. And this plugin can be used on any system, not just the Steam Deck. And with the rising costs of memory and RAM nowadays, it's getting increasingly harder to purchase new parts and, uh, and maybe get into PC gaming for the first time or upgrade your PC to be able to play these new games for less than five minutes for seven dollars and maybe if it goes on sale under seven dollars you can double your steam deck performance on most triple a games if you like this video be sure to like subscribe comment below with your thoughts are you gonna get lossless scaling do you use lossless scaling right now uh but yeah this has been nick and uh i'm gonna go generate some frames <laughs> i'll see you all in the next one